Right, pixels and sensors. Well, this is a sensor. Um, it's in your camera somewhere. They exist in lots of different sizes and different qualities. Right now, let's have a look at some different size sensors for different cameras. Well, here are several different sizes of sensors. Now you see the top one is for a full frame camera, full frame 35mm. And the smallest one down at the right, 5.76 by 4.29, is probably a one used on a telephone. So you can see that the difference. Now when people are talking about 5 million pixels on that tiny little one, um, it's obvious that they're not as good as 5 million pixels on that top one, full frame. Um, now I'm using 5 as a reference, of course. Now, OK, over to, pi over to pixels. Now this is um, only 7 or 800 pixels, and we're talking about 5 million. Now these, these 800 pixels have been exposed to light, and they've each picked up a slightly different colour. So you can imagine when there's 5 million or 10 million or 18 million they will make up an image a bit like newspaper print used to be with black and white little dots now here's where the sensor lives it's deep into the camera behind the mirror and the shutter and this one's an APS-H and it has um, 18 million pixels on it now the quality of a pixel really depends on its manufacture Obviously, the more, the bigger the pixel, the better, uh, as long as there's lots of millions of them. Uh, a very good quality one will have some sort of system. Let's imagine it's like a wall around each pixel that avoids the color drifting from one to the other. So we've got now our pictures being made up of dots that are recognizing colors and telling the camera what colour is in what dot. Now those all happen in zones, so one colour drifts into another, and this is how the picture is made up. It goes onto the computer, uh, and then we can change every one of those single dots as we want. If you've got the patience, you can go straight in and virtually get one pixel and retouch one pixel at a time, if you've got the patience. Well, obviously there's a lot more to talk about with pixels and sensors. But it's a beginner's guide, so I think we'll stop there. Um, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to press subscribe. Come and see us on mccordle.com. I've put a shop on it now with some things that I think are the good things to buy, particularly an awful lot of books. There are some very good books. So don't hesitate, mccordle.com.